hello guys you are welcome to today's tutorial this is to some graphics youtube channel so we are going to work on this picture we are going to work on the hair we are going to work on the sketch we are going to paint it and then we are going to finalize this work all right so this would be the very first part of this tutorial video so what are we doing first i want us to sketch this picture first okay now I would like us to use a tool called paint taper all right now a lot of you have questions like how do i know this is the size i want to use for my sketch well that is exactly what i will do now once i draw like this if it's too small for me then i will increase okay then if it's too small i will still increase but okay i think it's okay like okay like this because i don't want it to be too big now the next thing I'm going to do is to reduce the reference picture, that is the original picture. All right. Now I'll use my guides for this curve. Now let me use it below here also. Can you see what I'm doing? I'll create another new layer because I want to believe um, we are not good at sketching to an extent yet so let's take it simple but instead of me wasting my time with all of that i'll just use my hand and do it manually okay for this area i will do it manually yeah so this place that comes down straight then i can decide to use the tool to sketch this area all right
guys so this is what we have sketched so far so now what i want to do is to refine this sketch okay because if you check it it's not cool yet all right so what we are going to do is to refine it we erase the areas we should actually erase all right Yo guys, so let's sketch. All right, now let's go to the high bow and the high lashes. All right, if you check my previous tutorial, I did this tutorial the high bow and the eyes. So I don't think that should be a problem. But in this case, it's quite different. That is what I'm doing. Can you see? Let's sketch this as well. I have to increase the pencil size to 7. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna use soft eraser. Alright, I'll create another new layer. Like I said in my previous video for eyebrow and eyelashes, I said whether you see 
the hair that is always below the hair or not, you should put it there. Because if you check your own eyes, it is there. So it is due to the camera that was used or the process of enhance that actually blend that hair. You know, but some people they don't really have much, so it may not it may really blend along with the skin color. But it is there. It cannot be shaved. Alright, even before we use the soft razor, create another new layer and draw that stroke I talked about. If you have not watched that tutorial, I think you should do well to watch it. It's on my channel. I'm going to put the link below the link below this video so that you can easily check out the video. Right. I think this is quite better you know the, the eye is even blending along with the skin and I'm trying to avoid that all right this is better this is better we correct it when we are painting all right so I'll use soft razor now even on this stroke Two pieces, and then I'll merge it. So let's move to this also. Now, if you check my that's my tutorial I'm talking about. I talked about something that I love to flip. All right, even even if you check this one, there's some there are some kind of air that should be there. Okay, to show that okay, this person does not have one eye. The person actually have two eyes. Okay, so that's what, that is what this is actually standing for right now. To uh, flip so that I can draw this effectively, like I love to. I'll choose this pencil. So, possibly you don't understand all these tools we are using. You can still check below this video, there will be a link that will lead you to a video guide to a video tour on sketchbook application, both for PC and mobile phone. Alright, so don't worry yourself about that. Okay, so let's see what I was able to achieve with, achieve with this. Can you see? So I will use soft eraser to blend it. You see, the rules I've been teaching you in some of my other videos is still what I'm still using. Yeah, so make sure you don't forget anything once you watch this tutorial. And then they are standing well now. All right. So I merge everything. It's now on one layer. All right. Yeah, so the next tutorial, guys, it will be for the hair detailing. Thank you for actually joining me in this video. Bye for now.